What's up YouTube? This is Juggernaut44 coming back at you with another review. For today I'm reviewing Daredevil, The Man of Fear, um, Cruel and Unusual. The graphic novel is by Ed Brubaker and Greg Rucker. Art done by Michael Lark. I'm going to let you know out of the gate, I did not like this book. I did not enjoy it at all. On a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being good, 1 being very bad, this gets a 1. It should get a zero from me, but I'm being generous, but it gets a one, and I'll explain why. First, the uh, the art by Mark Michael Lark. Um, the art's pretty decent. It seems that every artist that comes on Daredevil is basically, um, you know, going to be compared to Alex Malavie's art. And this art looks kind of like reminiscent of Alex Malavie's art run on daredevil so um and he does a pretty good job um basically this story is bad because it's very boring um the story i'm gonna just give it away because you guys don't need to be picking this up and reading this for nothing the story is about this gangster named eric slaughter now um, this gangster controls the docks and the the uh, federal government has interest in keeping this gangster as an informant for the docks because all the level of importing from terrorists and drugs um, but this gangster is very kind of sloppy um, he gets caught up he gets caught trying to send a message and is involved in a crime where uh, three children's head gets decapitated and um, the federal government doesn't want him to go down because they want his eyes to be on the dock they want to keep him as an informant so Eric Slaughter he um, pins the the um, murder on another criminal criminal named Donovan now Donovan is willing for this crime to be pinned on him in order for Eric to take care of his son financially um, they have a trust a trust set up for his son and whatever I guess the I guess the father Donovan is such a loser set so, in such stupid that he can't provide for his family and this is the only way that he can uh, provide by with his family by being charged for another man's crimes willingly so um that's basically the plot and daredevil is trying to exonerate donovan and um represent him but donovan wants no part of daredevil um he wants to go down for the crime because he wants his son to be hooked up with the money that Slaughter is pr providing for him. Okay, I found all this out. It, it concludes in the last pages of the issue, and this could have been a one shot easily, but um, it's collecting in about five issues, maybe, yeah, about five issues. It's not worth your time, it's not worth the cover price of $15.99. Don't even get this if you can get it half off. This is some bullshit. This is Ed Brubaker is not as good of a writer as Brian Michael Bennis. His criminal stuff, from what I read of it, it's all right. Um, Greg Rucker, his name is attached to this, and this is this is very bad. This is I got I had high hopes for this book because of the writings on. Gotham Central, which Ed Brubaker and Greg Rucker also wrote, but this this is garbage. It's very boring. It's got nothing but talking. Daredevil, I know Daredevil is a is a lawyer, but at the heart of Daredevil, I believe that Daredevil is a superhero comic book, and this has no supervillain in it. I mean, I know that it doesn't have to all he doesn't have to always go up against a super villain but this is just boring It's nothing but talking and daredevil's not even in the front of in the forefront of this half the story is um this lawyer dakota this private eye and she's not even a good private eye 
Um, and I guess they're just trying to bulk up a strong character even more, um, but it's not working. Uh, it doesn't even take place. He's a lawyer. It doesn't take place in a courtroom. It, it's just a bunch of investigations and a bunch of daredevil whining. I know his wife is in a hospital right now um, in a psych ward. But, man, we get the point. He's he's feeling depressed about this. Do not pick this up. Stay clear away from Daredevil, Cruel and Unusual. It's a garbage comic book. I'm glad Ed Brubaker is off the title of Daredevil. The only good story that he ever did was The Devil Inside, the first volume, and that is it. And that is my review. Thank you for uh, taking time out to listen. Please rate, comment, and uh, let me know what's going on.